local, quick, and to the point. WDEF News 12 This Morning continues now. Hey, good morning. Thanks for joining us. If you're thinking of adopting a pet, but just maybe you haven't had time to look around, we've got some great news for you. News 12 has teamed up with McKamey Animal Center in an effort to help you find the perfect companion. Joining us this morning from McKamey, we have Anna Baker. Good morning, Good morning. Anna. We have some sweet little kitty cats here with we us this Well, morning. they're being sweet right now anyway. They are, yeah. <laughs> this one, before, of course, they always do so well before the cameras are rolling, right. and then as soon as the cameras come on, they're like, you know. They, they just know. They, they, start, just know. they start wiggling. <laughs> uh, so who do, who do I have here? Um, I'm calling him Reggie, and this is Gil. Reggie. <laughs> nice. Reggie and Gil. Reggie and Gil. Uh, do you have any specials on kittens right now? Yeah, that's okay. why they're here. They're two for 25. We still have a lot of kittens, so <laughs> <laughs> we have his little house if we need it. It's a way to keep him safe, which we're yep. going to talk about how to keep pets safe okay. during Halloween. But, um, okay. So, yes, kittens are two for 25, and the reason is they just do better in pairs. They keep each other entertained. Mm. Okay. See, like he might not do you're that to you all day okay. if he has another kitten yeah. to play with. <laughs> He's just a little scared. This is all overwhelming. So, and I, and I like that you brought that up. Obviously, uh, Halloween can be a scary time for our pets, and we've got folks coming in and out of the house, folks right. knocking on the door, ringing the doorbell. It's a lot. So, what are you've some things that it. we you've, can do to uh, keep our pets safe? The best thing to do is to have a little safe haven for them. Mm -hmm. um, you, it could be it could be a room in your house. It could be a crate. Um, whatever you feel comfortable having for them as a safe haven. But with all the trick-or-treaters coming to the door, with the door opening and closing, they could run out the door mm -hmm. and then get scared. Sure. And um, we, we see a lot of pets coming into the center around holidays, mm -hmm. and so we just want to prevent that from happening. So have a safe haven and play some music for them. Play the radio, play some classical music, and keep them calm. Yeah. Um, so definitely bring outdoor pets inside, too. Right. Because costumes are scary. Mm -hmm. And then I think people still do Halloween tricks, right? right. We want to keep them out of harm's way. Sure. No, that's some really good advice. Mm -hmm. And um, obviously, if you have any Halloween treats around the house, make sure. I know um, kitties, maybe not so much. A, a, Appealed, or they don't, I guess, go after the uh, the sweet treats like chocolate and what have you. But I know our dogs. Right, all candy is bad for all animals. Yeah. So chocolate is bad. We know that, but all candy is bad. Keep that away. And also the Halloween decor, because that's something cats might be interested in, is eating the oh, Halloween yeah. decor. So we want to keep that out of their Some way of those too. Lights. Yeah. Yeah. Some good advice there, Anna. Well, thank you so much for bringing in these sweet little kittens. <laughs> you, you did. You. Uh, Held it together this morning. <laughs> We're going to put some information up on the screen if you would like to adopt some sweet kittens or any of the other fantastic animals there from McKamey. You can always stop by and see them. Give them a call or head to their website. It's McKamey Animal Center.org. We're going to take a short break. See you at this.